Mr. Desmond Chu. Question 15, please. Speaker, the corporate sector has thus far managed to the rise in interest rates well. Corporate revenue has continued to grow, and the proportion of non-performing loans, NPL, for the corporate sector has in fact fallen over the past year from 3.1% in June 2021 to 2.5% 2 in June 2022, based on latest available data. Now, the NPL ratio within the SME segment also fell from 2.8% to 2.4% over the same period. So MPLs have fallen in the corporate sector and also in the SME segment. SME loan volumes themselves have indeed remained resilient over the past year, even as interest rates gradually rose. SME loan volumes expanded by 11.5% on a year-on-year -year basis in August 2022, compared to the broader corporate loan, loan growth of 7.2%. As SMS Chi Yong Tat recently explained to this House on 4th October 2022, the government helps businesses access capital to help grow their businesses through various credit schemes. We will continue to monitor developments in this space. Mr. Desmond Chu. Thank the MOS for his, uh, his answer. I have two supplementary questions. The first one will be that um, as we expect the overall interest rate environment um, to only increase and the cost of funds for companies to increase um, rather um, steeply, both here and regional, uh, what is the forecast on NPLs, um, especially for the SMEs? And the second clarification is, if and when we see a large number of companies facing insolvency, under what circumstances will companies, will the government come in and assist such companies, especially the promising ones, to tide over a difficult period. Thank the member for his SQs. I think what's quite useful is to look at the corporate balance sheets, the health of the corporate balance sheets. So maybe I'll just share a few uh, useful data points. The first is that most Singapore listed firms continue to hold sufficient liquidity as of the first half of this year, 2022, and these are liquid assets such as cash and cash equivalents uh, that are exceeding their short-term liabilities. And we've also conducted, MAS has conducted stress tests on these uh, balance sheets of SGX listed firms, which show that most corporates will be resilient to further interest rates increases and earning shocks. In the unlisted sector itself, most firms also either have healthy debt servicing ability or sufficient cash holdings to cover their short-term financing or operational needs. But MAS and the government will monitor this very closely and adjust where necessary. With regards to the second SQ, I mentioned earlier on that SMS Chi had also shared how the government is also availing uh, access to financing to uh, uh, the corporate sector as well as SMEs. Some of these includes Enterprise Singapore's Enterprise Financing Scheme, which help businesses access uh, and tap into funding and, co and also co-sharing loan default risks. SMEs can also tap on a variety of uh, schemes such as uh, the Productivity Solutions Grant, the Energy Efficiency Grant and Skills Future Subsidy to help to transform their businesses in light of many different uh, challenges afoot. In fact, NTUC's new CTC or Company Training Committee Grant also helps SMEs to improve productivity as well as the quality of their workforce. Thank you. <laughs> 